this up. Scott's Edition, another historic neighborhood here in Richmond. I thought I'd show you, and one that's known for its many craft breweries, cideries, meaderies, distilleries. Um, last count I had, there was about 13 here. I'm going to try to show you as many as I can, as well as a little lay of the land, a little bit of the historic properties here on the district, and we'll go from there. So come along, y'all. We got another one. Let's do it. Okay. Here's one of the local breweries here in Scott's Edition. One of the most popular, one of the first ones. Vale Brewing Company. I think we might stop in here later on, have a little drink, show you what it looks like when it's a little more lively. But this is the Vale. All right, looking forward to it. Alright, so we're coming up on the Channel 6 building now. Channel 6 went on the air in 1948. It was the first television station here in the south, south of Washington, D.C. There you go. South's first station. Channel 6. Alright, also in Scott's edition here, we have a local business triple triangle this is don't look back but triple triangle used to be my family business um, my granddad owned it he bought it off of CP Dean back I believe in the 50s and it was in our family till the mid 90s um, at that time my granddad had to sell the business and it makes me really sad because I always thought that one day I would take over this little triple location So I've spoken to the gentleman a few times in there. This is the original signage from the building from when my granddad owned it and talked about if he ever decided to get rid of the moniker, the name that I'd love to buy the license in and the sign back from him. Um, researching this little trip here, I found out that they still have four of the original refurbished tables from my granddad's business. So that's really cool. Um, yeah, so dream is one day having a pool hall and here it is triple triangle let's get it unfortunately i haven't been back in the building since my granddad parted ways with it just haven't been able to bring myself to it one day soon so we'll cross the street over here check out this little mural crossing broad here we have a mural dedicated to the black lives matter movement See a few of the familiar faces, a few of the familiar names, Brianna Taylor. Come back here and take a little peek at Channel 6's hardware. You see all these satellites as, long, as well as the gigantic tower. Pretty cool. Hitting the corner of West Clay. Looks like we got a little art gallery here. Studio two. Studio two three. Yeah, I hear you, girl. Tell them. So this is a cool little art studio here. Seems like they have very progressive forward thinking. Too bad they closed up. I thought I was going to get some authentic Mexican street food. Keep it moving. We'll find something. See a few more murals up here. McLean's restaurant down there. One of the oldest breakfast spots here in the city. Eh, they're pretty good. I thought I would take you by showing you all these tattoo shops but never showing you one that I frequent so here it is shout out to my boy Jason Hobby 
decade and more of service work great 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 work i mean trust him like he's my brother and this is one of the shops that he owns right here so this is classic tattoo this is here in scott's edition as well he has a lot of really really amazing artists that work for him here charlie riley can't give you guys enough love really 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 cool guys Continuing on, we will be finding some food. Coming up on one of the more quirkier spots here in Scott's Edition. We have the Urban Roost. And I mean, bringing you over here because who doesn't want to see a giant chicken? Let's go. So this is luncheandsupper.com. Another nice little restaurant here in Scott's Edition. Highly recommended as you can see they source a lot of their produce right here on site wicked Ooh, that wood burning is smelling nice all right still in Scott's edition and I told Heather I'd come up here and give her favorite little place some love so this is blueby cidery and this is one of the places that they do cider wine mead but it's also the location of truckle cheese shop and this is truckle cheesemongers heather used to work in this location she really 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 liked working here liked the staff and i wish it would have been open for me to go in and give you a little peek there it is truckle cheesemongers and like I said, they're inside of the Blue Bee Cidery, so it's a really nice setup in there. So you'll be able to go in there and have your drink from the cidery and have your fresh cut cheese, charcuterie, sandwiches out of truckle. Really cool. Over here on the other side, you see some of the examples of the houses here in Scott's Edition. You have some of them that are more of like the 1860s styles. You see these a lot. These are old like Civil War era housing. And then you have the more historic brick stones with the columns. A lot of these around as well. Here at the train tracks at Scott's Edition. You got a nice little view of the diamond over there. You're going over to a game tonight, checking out the local team. Richmond Flying Squirrels, AA affiliate, San Francisco Giants. It's nice. As always, the graffiti shows itself. Diamond. Got the open air stadium here. The stadium was built in 1983 and can seat upwards of about 10,000 people. So we're gonna go to a game tonight. It's Harrisburg against the Flying Squirrels. Harrisburg's the Washington Senators little team. So let's do it. up here this is Scott's market haven't been in here not sure what's in there oh Scott shawarma fresh halal I think that's got my name written all over it let's go in there and see what we can get mm, you know it 
little menu over here. Oh yeah, we can eat here. We can eat here. Excuse me? You want a hot sauce? Hot sauce, yes. Yes. We got the nice shawarma back there. Nice. Show you the menu here. For my first time trying it out. Shave it off. This might be a little hidden gem. We'll let you know. Scott's edition and have your meal outside of Scott's shawarma. I mean, it was a little pricier than I'm used to, but we're not in Egypt anymore. The same kind of meal, I mean, the Coca Cola, the Flake Bar, the shawarma, maybe four or five dollars, you know, 65, 70 Egyptian pounds. Um, I mean, this tastes really good, but you know, take for granted what you have when you're traveling foreign instead of in here in the United States. Authentic. Found a few fries in there and it would have been fully authentic. I got the Mexican Coke in the glass bottle because I don't drink anything other than in the bottle. A plastic bottle for me. Unfortunately, they did not give me anything to open it up with. Not sure how we're going to manage that one, but we'll figure it out. Alright, so. Chicken shawarma. Tastes like season goodness. Like I said, beautiful Scots edition. Nice day. Got the old Coca Cola, -Cola bottling factory right across the street. James E. Crass Coca Cola bottling plants. When I was a kid, they did still used to bottle Coca-Cola in there. How times have changed. Coca-Cola, come on, sponsor me. I need it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and take care of this here shawarma and get back with you in a minute for more Scott's Edition. 
Okay, and as you can see with the absence of the shawarma, I really did enjoy that. So Scott's shawarma, little hidden gem. I had never seen it before today. It's in this little Scott's Marketplace, like I said. They have a little bit more gourmet items in their store. Um, Middle Eastern spices, things of that nature. Really, really extensive international beer selection. Um, as for the food itself, the shawarma was pretty good. Um, and they nice they taste a little more expensive than I'm used to paying for it, but that's okay when in Rome. Um, yeah, so I give chicken shawarma here at Scott Shawarma the two thumbs up. Um, I'm gonna go on ahead now and take it with the magic of editing to the nighttime edition of this Scott's Edition tour. So see you guys there. All right, just like that, we're back. Scott's Edition, nighttime. So out here once again, outside Scott Shawarma. But I'll tell you the nice little sign all lit up. And we're going to take a little walk around here. Nighttime, Scott's Edition. So over here we got wood and iron. I was looking at their menu earlier. It looked pretty cool. It seems like they got a nice little vibe going on. wood and iron gonna walk down here and check out this little place I saw I think they had another little brewery down here that had a few drinks so come down here and check it out it's nice to see everything all lit up the moon was huge earlier still nice in the sky but Wish it would have been that nice big old moon I saw. Got Taza across the street, nice and lit up. And that Star Hill down the way. Coming up on Vasen up here. And I hear it's real popular with the outdoor crowd. Let's see if we can't get a little drink. Awesome. A little vibe going on in here. Try the orange crush. Oh, thank you. Alright, we'll be quick because of the background music, but we're here at Boston. I got the orange crush, so we'll try that one out. That orange crust was really good. I'll be back for another one of those. So I went to dinner with Heather, but I really wish I would have got this wood fire pizza here. Timber Pizza Company. Nice. All right, moving on to the next. Scott's edition has been a fun one for me and also a dangerous one. Um, I don't really drink too much and that's funny being in Richmond, like I said, known for its craft breweries, but when I do start drinking, I get the taste for it. So we're gonna try to find somewhere else. Uh, I think we might check out the Vale and we're gonna come down here and see what else we can find. Now the Stale Warts here in Scott's Edition and one of the more popular breweries. We have Ardent Craft Ales. They have a nice little terrace up here that you're able to have your drink at, relax. This is the brewery door. Maybe we can get a little peek at the action. This is our day. Where the magic happens as they say. Coming up on the veil and good timing because I'm getting a little thirsty. Let's see if we can't get served. All right, and we're at the veil. See what we can get us to drink.
All right, we're here at Vail. It's a fruity kind of night, so I got the pineapple mango sorbet. And I'm really liking these sours tonight. I'm really liking the Vail's vibe as well. Got the little outdoor bar. I went indoor to pay. The Vail, everyone. Okay, and that was the Vail. And that was Scott's edition. So we're gonna go ahead and wrap it up here, y'all. That was a really fun Richmond tour series. I think I'm close enough now to internationally travel into where I can go on ahead and call this Richmond series a wrap. It was really fun showing you around my hometown. Um, definitely showing you around Scott's Edition here. Like I said, 13 breweries, cideries, meateries, distilleries. I was only able to show you a couple today because I'm a lightweight, unfortunately, when it comes to drinking. But if you're ever in town, look it up, look me up, and we'll come and hit a few more. So until next time, y'all, have a good one, and I'll see you later. Take it easy. Scott's Edition. Like that, they're gone.